today we're driving a modified 2015 BMW M4. This has the S55 motor in it. It has a seven speed dual clutch transmission. It's rear wheel drive. We have a stock engine, stock turbo, stock clutches, and stock suspension set up on this car, but it has been modified and tuned by Nostrum High Performance. It features their S55 high pressure fuel pump kits, stage one injectors, and flex fuel kit. It also has AFE cold air intakes, a CSF top mount intercooler, a CSF front mount heat exchanger, and an upgraded crank hub gear. It also features VRSF downpipes and an active auto work equal length mid pipe. It's running on factory size Continental DW Extreme contacts, and it's tuned on Ecutech for 93 E85 flex fuel. With full bolt-ons and Nostrum's high-performance fuel pumps on stock injectors, it made 490 wheel horsepower, 533 wheel torque on 93. With stage one injectors, they were able to push it all the way up to 578 wheel horsepower, 620 wheel torque on E77. Pretty impressive power numbers. I just did a video on the new M3 with the eight-speed ZF automatic. This has a seven-speed dual clutch transmission. On initial impressions, I do miss this seven-speed dual clutch. It is a great transmission. Anyway, let's take this modified M4 out on the street, get a baseline, an idea for how streetable it is, what it's like to drive on a daily basis. This thing is wicked fast. We're on the 93 E85 flex fuel tune right now. So we should be making around 530 wheel horsepower, a little bit quicker than the stock M3 we drove last week with 503. I imagine there's probably a little bit less power loss with this dual clutch transmission too. We've driven a couple of Nostrum high performance cars in the past. They specialize in high pressure fuel pumps and injectors and have some pretty fun shop cars lying around function as test beds and uh, they're all enthusiasts. <laughs> Traction control there kicking in pretty early. This thing is quick. It creeps up on you. We were in efficient mode there and it's still breaking the tires loose just a little bit. do have a uh, fun pops and verbals tune on this car right now. A little bit childish, but that's okay. I think it offers a little bit more drama once the engine and everything gets warmed up. <laughs> Can hear those turbos spool up. see what it can do. <laughs> She's quick. The standard M4 was always a pretty fast car, but it never really delivered what you wanted. With a tune and some injectors and high pressure fuel pump, kind of can't go wrong. A few little power mods, and you've got this up to modern M4 standards. <laughs> it's responsive, and once boost kicks in, it hits. Very drivable, very nice street manners. For a vehicle with another 100 wheel horsepower over stock, you can daily drive this. This is great, it feels awesome. I just love this dual clutch. So responsive, so snappy. <laughs> Sport 
plus everything gets a little bit sharper you got three different drive modes efficient sport and sport plus in this m4 sound the turbos make when they spool up at quarter throttle. A few little burbles there on the overrun. <laughs> Chirping in the third. So also just leaving this in automatic, it's a pretty good transmission in its shift logic. This does have the GTS DCT tune on it, so it's going to shift a little bit more aggressively, a little bit faster, a little bit sharper. I don't think I've driven an M4 with a GTS tune. I've driven an E92 M3 Lime Rock, which had that, and that felt fantastic. Stock brakes, stock suspension, Ride quality is excellent. BMW did a really nice job with this car from the factory. The traction control is a little bit of a hindrance. All it ever needed was just a little bit more power. And that's what Nostrum has done here with this M4. Let's see how it handles the corner. that on the street it's very quick a lot more power noticeably more power than the m3 we had last week the shift logic with this dct is just phenomenal it gives you the right amount of downshift to get you in a boost but not over revving too much It's a two-stage pedal, so you've got a kick-down switch at the bottom of it. So if you really want it to rev out, it will. And you can immediately go into manual mode just by hitting a paddle. I like these paddles better than the new M4's paddles, too. These feel more exotic and special. The new M4 had these, uh, ah, they were just kind of regular standard BMW paddles. These are a lot nicer. How can we sum this car up on the street, at least with some first impressions? I kind of want to do a light comparison between this and the M3 that we had last week. Just because that M3 competition has more power than the manual that we'll have uh, this weekend for track day. And um, the automatic versus the DCT. I've got to say, hands down, I prefer the 7-speed DCT. I will miss that transmission in the new M3, M4. It's just snappier, it's more engaging, it's more exciting, it's more responsive. It does what you want it to do when you want it. The automatic shifting programming is excellent. The manual shifting is just telepathic. It knows exactly what you want. 
I would almost pick the dual clutch in this generation M4 over the manual. And I will reserve my judgment for the new M3, M4 when I drive the six-speed manual later this week. So kind of a toss-up, you guys. I think, uh, I think BMW has a nice eight-speed automatic with that new ZF, but they've lost something in terms of, I don't know, the driving enjoyment, the dynamics, the, uh, the connectedness that you feel with the car by getting rid of the dual clutch. So kind of what I thought initially when I heard they had added the 8-speed ZF Auto to the new M4, it's a great transmission, it's pretty darn close, but it's just missing that specialness that uh, I think a real driving enthusiast and a real car enthusiast would feel and appreciate on a daily basis. It makes it just that much more exciting. And for me, it makes it all that more difficult of a choice between the seven speed dual clutch and a manual. Um, in the new M3, M4, that choice is a lot easier. I would just go for the manual transmission even without even really driving it. We've got one more spirited corner here. Let's see what we can do. We'll increase our shift speed there. Oh, it's just great. has 46,000 miles on it. Feels pretty good. Feels pretty happy. Feels pretty healthy. E85 does not hurt, that's for sure. You get that power pretty immediately. So balanced, instant throttle response, instant torque. Steers itself in a little drift. <laughs> a lot of fun to drive. All right, guys, well, there are your first impressions on this Nostrum Performance BMW M4. Uh, pretty fun vehicle to drive. Can't wait to get this out on track, see what it can really do with some speed thrown at it. Very excited to test this and compare it to the M3s and M4s we will have driven this last week. So stay tuned for that. I'm sure it'll be an exciting drive. Until then, check out Nostrum Performance if you're interested in any injectors for your application. They make a bunch of different products for various vehicles, mostly Germans, but they've got some uh, Subaru products in there too. And uh, if you're looking for a little bit of extra power in your M4, this is an excellent way to go. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video.